Hi, I'm Jim Juback. I've been picking stocks on the internet since 1997. First for Microsoft's MSN Money, and then for my own sites, jubackpicks.com and jubackam.com. Before that, I covered the capital markets for Venture and Worth magazines for about 15 years. I'm starting this YouTube channel to add to, comment on, and expand from my daily posts on my internet investing sites. You can join my community of readers by checking out the free jubackpicks.com site at the link below, or get even more content from me by subscribing to jubackam.com. Both sites include portfolios from my longest running Jubak Picks portfolio, up 584% since I started in 1997, to my long-term 50 stocks portfolio and my dividend portfolio. As always, make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more Jim each week. Answer this question. Over the last three months, would you have made more money investing in Amazon, Apple, and Facebook, or in a dull as disorder utility stock like AES, or an old line ad agency like Omnicom? Here are the numbers for the last three months through December 8th. Amazon up 0.87%, that's not even a whole percent. Facebook up 4.5%. Apple, the best of the bunch, or the crop, uh, up 10.43%. But AES, that utility stock, up 22.53% in the last three months. Omnicom up 21.31%. What's going on? The stock market is anticipating the post-coronavirus vaccine economy, where people and companies use more electricity, spend more on ads, and in general go back to spending in ways that resemble the pre-pandemic world, resemble there as being key. In that environment you want to own, the stock market is saying, stocks that have been hammered by the pandemic and that look like they will rebound off that bottom in 2021. And just to be safe, the market continues, we wouldn't mind if the stock in question paid a dividend, say two or three or four times the 1% or so that you get by buying a 10-year treasury from the US government. AES, for example, pays a 2.75% dividend. Omnicom pays 4.02. Sounds better than 1%, doesn't it? Something to put in your pocket while you wait for the economy to recover. In contrast, Amazon pays zero. That's a big fat goose egg. Facebook pays 0%. Apple pays just 0.67%. You might say the current market makes dividend stocks the perfect stocks to own, which wouldn't be true if these dividend stocks didn't have the fundamental story to back up the price momentum. Just as an aside, as an investor, I always look for this combination of price momentum and fundamentals, and it doesn't hurt if the stock is also cheap in relative or absolute terms. These dividend stocks tick all three of those boxes. Look, for example, at the chart for AES, a big global utility. The trend has been up and up since $12.20 a share on June 11th to $21.03 a share on December 9th. And you'll note the price hasn't gotten too away from technical support at the 50-day or 200-day moving averages. Okay, move to on, on the calm. Omnicom, in contrast, has only been in an uptrend from 45.80 on October 29th to 64.84 on December 9th. And about those fundamentals, utility companies are moving into a period of increasing capital spending on, among other things, wind and solar and the electrical grid. For a utility, more capital spending is a good thing because those new assets go into the rate base and utilities collect a rate of return on those assets set by regulators. For a utility like Eversource, the capital spending story is especially positive. The New England utilities become a huge developer of offshore wind farms and has forecast that it will be carbon neutral by 2030. That would make Eversource the first U.S. investor-owned utility to reach carbon neutral, roughly 20 years ahead of peers like Duke Energy. And remember that when you're looking at dividend stocks that will gain the most in 2021, you should keep your eyes out, not for the stocks in the sector that have held up best in the pandemic downturn, but for companies that have struggled and that will now do much better in an easier economy.
So Citigroup, a bank that's had its problems instead of J.P. Morgan Chase. You can find a lot more detail on these stocks, as well as other dividend picks, and indeed my entire dividend portfolio, on the free jubackpicks.com site or the subscription jubackam.com site. Thanks for watching. Remember, you can join my community of readers at the links below. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe and leave me a comment below. Thanks again.